I'm Anastasia Chatska, a fashion designer with over 20 years of experience and a sewing educator. And I'm really excited you're here to share another sewing adventure with me today. Anastasia and today we're gonna go over an intro to draping. I just love draping dresses so I want to give you an intro to draping and everything you're going to need to get started on your journey to draping and we're gonna drape a small bodice as well. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. I'm also now teaching sewing classes in studio and virtually, so make sure you sign up for one of my new classes at SewingAnastasia.com. There are two methods to getting a final garment. And how do you get there? You're getting there through either pattern drafting or draping. So that's why I'm here today to go over a little bit about draping. Pattern drafting, I feel like is done most commonly. A lot of people are pattern drafting their garments. And I feel like sometimes there's a lot of fit issues when you're pattern drafting because you don't have the actual form in the body that you're creating the pattern on, right? You have flat paper. The benefits of draping are that you have the dress form that's your size right here. And you can get rid of all the fit issues and see exactly what it's gonna look like when it's on you. How great is that? I love it. So maybe you're draping and you're like, I think I want a shoulder ruffle. And you drape that shoulder ruffle and you're like, no, I definitely don't want that shoulder ruffle. I do not like the proportions. But if you were pattern drafting, you would have had to pattern draft it, sewn up a muslin, and tried it on. So we're eliminating all those steps by draping. So maybe you're like, hey, I wanna see what it's gonna look like with some bust plates. And you make them and you're like, I love that, it looks great. So now you don't have to go through the whole entire process of pattern drafting and cutting it out and trying it out again. You've got it right here on your dress form. I love draping and you're probably wondering, well, when are you gonna use pattern drafting? So I love using pattern drafting when I'm creating something simple, maybe a ship dress, a circle skirt, a little tank top, just a few style lines. Pattern drafting is great for that. If you're doing something more complicated with a lot of style lines, maybe it's cut on the bias, there's all kinds of pleats and such in it, then you're gonna wanna drape it out so you can really see it visually. But pattern drafting and draping go hand in hand because once you drape it, let's say you wanna make another one and make sure your lines all fit together, you're gonna have to transfer it to paper, grab your pattern drafting rulers, and let's do a little pattern drafting to make sure everything's perfect and fits together. And then we'll cut it out of fabric and well, wear it out on a date. But if you wanna make just a one-off of something, draping is great for that because you can just pin it on the dress form, cut off the extra fabrics and sew it right up. Draping is just so great for making original one-of-a-kind garments. I love draping with the fabric, making something fabulous and sewing it up and wearing it out. I'm going to do a little draping demo, but before I do that, I wanna go over some basic supplies you're going to need to start draping. You're going to need your pins and maybe a lot of pins. I like to wear one that I can put on my wrist so it's real easy while I'm working. You're also going to need some draping tape so that way you can put some style lines on your dress form or you could use some twill tape or ribbon and some pins as well. You're also going to need your scissors along with a pencil or a fabric marking tool. I'm going to be using a heat soluble pink marker. You're also gonna need some fabric. Today I'm going to be using muslin. And last but not least, you are going to need a dress form. Preferably one that is your size if you're making garments for yourself. You can also pad out dress forms to make them your perfect size. That's a whole nother video, but just know that you can. And this dress form here, I've had this one since high school. So crazy. Now that you know all the supplies you're going to need to start draping, not so many of them, the biggest one's gonna be your dress form, we're gonna do a little draping demo. And draping can take a while to perfect, but you've gotta start somewhere, right? So I draped this dress a few weeks ago, and I'm gonna show you how I draped it. So I'm going to put the style line that's on the bodice on the dress form to the other side of me with my draping tape. And I'm gonna show you how I draped this bodice. So I've got my draping tape and what we're going to do is we're going to draw out the bodice with the tape on the dress form. So we're gonna follow the neckline, we're gonna follow the style line under the bust, 
And then we're going to take our fabric and we're going to drape it up. So a style line is where you're gonna see two seams joined together. You could have pleats in the seam, you could have piping in a seam, you could have ruffles in the seam, you could just have a whole nother fabric starting. Or you could have a dart there maybe. So what we want to do is address where we have these style lines so that way when we're draping, we know exactly where to draw our marks so that way we can separate our pattern pieces. So we're gonna have a bunch of different pattern pieces for a garment, right? And we need to know where to make our seam lines. So this tape is gonna indicate our seam lines slash our style lines. I'm going to start at the center front of the neck and I'm just gonna tape this until I want to change. So my neckline is going up to here and then it's coming over. So I'm going to cut right where I want it to stop. If your tape is moving on you, you can also pin it down. Mine's moving on me. So you can just take a pin and push it right through it. And now I want to continue my tape to create the shape under the arm that I'm looking for. So this is where you can really let your creativity shine. You can go crazy and put all kinds of style lines or you could keep it simple as well. Okay, so you can see how we have the top of the neckline coming over and down and same here, over and down. Now what we're going to do is tape out the bottom of the bust here. Okay, so you can see how we have the front bodice here and we have the front bodice here. So these are looking the same. So we need to know where those style lines are and we have addressed those with the bodice. And for the rest of it, I'm going to use center front, I'm gonna use my waist and I'm gonna use my side seam over here for my style lines. And since these are already addressed with seams in the dress form, I don't have to put the tape there. So we are ready to start draping. When you're draping, you have to watch your grain lines on your fabric. It's really, really important that your grain lines are going the same way as the fabric that you're going to be using in the end. So I'm going to be using the selvage of my fabric here for my center front because I know that is the straight grain. So the first thing I'm gonna drape is the bust here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pin my muslin at center front. So I'm just gonna be draping half of this because we only need half because we can always cut too. So you don't want to pull your muslin super tight, but you just want it to drape nicely over it. So we are going to drape the top of it so I can see the tape through this, which is great. So that way we can go back and draw on it. I'm just gonna put a few pins in here to hold it in place so it doesn't move. I'm gonna drape it around to the side. And so now on the bottom, I had pleats on my bust. So now we can go ahead and create these little pleats and put a pin in them. You can make as many or as few pleats as you would like. I'm gonna do three. So the shapes that you're going to be folding, pleating, tucking, these are the shapes that are going to transform your garment. And this is exactly how your garment's gonna look in the end. So if you don't like the way this is looking now, you need to change it. Now that we have the muslin pinned to the dress form and I have it exactly how I want it to look, grab your marking pen, your pencil, your chalk, whatever it is you're using, just don't use a pen or a magic marker, you will ruin your dress form. And we want to draw right where our style lines are that we can see through the fabric. So you can see the black tape here and we are going to draw right where it's at. So we have our top, we can come under. We have the side seam that we can see. So we're just gonna drag our marking tool through there. And now we're going to follow under the bust, right over the pleats, all the way up to center front. We wanna put a little mark where our pleats are so we know where they are later when we take it off. So we wanna go ahead and cut away some of the extra fabric so that way we can drape the bottom of the bodice. Okay, so you can really see how this bodice is starting to come to life. We have a boob, so exciting. Now we're gonna drape the bottom of the bodice. So I have another piece of fabric. 
I'm just gonna fold under the edge so it's nice and clean and let's pin it. We're pinning center front in place so it doesn't move. I'm going all the way to the waist because my design goes to the waist. And then you just want to nicely smooth it over and pin. I'm gonna put some pins at the waist. I'm gonna put some pins at the top. Now we're getting a little bubbling here, so I'm gonna cut into the waist to release some of this. And now it lays smoothly. We can continue pinning the waist. I'm going to put some pins in the side. And I'm just gonna push this fabric up. I can see my style line in here that I can draw. And then we'll cut off the extra after. I have my marking tool and I'm all ready to draw my lower bodice on. So I'm going to mark my waistline. Next, I'm gonna mark my side seam. My marking tool wasn't working very well, so I got a new one. So let's try again. So let's go ahead and mark the side seams. Look at that, so much better, easier to see. We're marking the waist, and we wanna mark that under bust in the same spot as the other one, so I can see my tape under here. Okay, now we can grab our scissors and cut some of it away. Check it out, we have the exact same bodice as the one next to me. How easy was that? Before you take your muslin or your fabric off your dress form, you really want to make sure you have everything marked. So I have my pleats marked, I have all my style lines marked, and now all the lines that I've marked, these are my sewing lines. So you need to make sure that you're adding seam allowance to all of these lines, especially if you're not transferring it to paper and cutting it out of another fabric. If you are cutting it and sewing it out of this fabric, you have to leave seam allowance, so make sure you do. Um, and so we have our side seams, our neckline, we have everything marked. So we are ready to take it off, transfer it to paper, or just sew it up. That's the magic of draping. You know exactly what it's gonna look like. You can drape it, sew it up, and wear it out. Thanks so much for watching Sewy Anastasia today. I hope you enjoyed your intro to draping. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, give it an applause, and I would love to know what you thought. So leave it down below in the comments. As always, make sure you follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those fabulous social media websites. And I would love to see your draping projects, so make sure you tag me in them or DM them over to me and I will share them with everyone else. We will keep everyone inspired. I also teach draping classes in person and virtually. So if you're interested in that, make sure you sign up at SewAnastasia.com. Thanks so much for watching, bye.